Hi, I'm Robin, English teacher with Core Languages, and today I'm at Folly Beach County Park. It's a beautiful park because it is right by the water. Let me repeat those two sentences. Listen carefully and try to identify what prepositions I'm using. Today I'm at Folly Beach County Park. It is a beautiful park because it is right by the water. I use the preposition at, at Folly Beach County Park, and by, by the water. When I use a preposition, I demonstrate the relationship between one noun or pronoun in a sentence to another noun or pronoun, and I create what's called a prepositional phrase, such as by the water or at the park. In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview over some basic prepositional phrases, so the next time you want to show the relationship of one noun to another noun, you can formulate a perfect English sentence. Prepositional phrases. A prepositional phrase is a phrase that contains a preposition and its object. A prepositional phrase can be used to modify a noun, in which case it acts as an adjective and is referred to as an adjectival phrase. But a prepositional phrase can also act as an adverb, in which case it is referred to as an adverbial phrase. Prepositional phrases have objects that can be a noun or a pronoun, a gerund, or a whole clause. Here are some examples. Shelley shops at the mall. At is the preposition. At the mall is the prepositional phrase that indicates the location. Barry reads articles to learn about current events. About is the preposition and to learn about current events is the prepositional phrase that indicates the reason why Barry reads articles. The dog is running despite the heat. The preposition is despite and the phrase despite the heat indicates contrast. The dog is running even though it is very hot. Prepositional phrases can be used to modify nouns and pronouns, and they can answer the question, which one, what kind, and how much or how many. They are referred to as adjectival phrases. For example, the audience of thousands gathered outside. Of is the preposition, and of thousands is the adjectival phrase that helps us describe the audience. She spends her summers at her cabin in the woods. This adjectival phrase, in the woods, helps us describe the cabin. Here is a proposal for potential clients. The adjectival phrase for potential clients helps us describe the proposal. When prepositional phrases serve as adjectives, they become adjectival phrases or adjective phrases, and we can usually ask for them by using which one, what kind, how much, or how many. For example, the voice of the singer was amazing. Off is the preposition, and off the singer is the adjectival phrase that serves as an adjective to the noun the voice. Houses with a view are the best. With is the preposition. With a view is the adjectival phrase that serves as an adjective to describe the noun houses. We saw over a dozen deer yesterday. Over is the preposition, and over a dozen is the adjectival phrase that serves as an adjective to describe deer. 
prepositional phrases that serve as adverbs and modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs are adverbial phrases or adverb phrases. And they help us express where, when, how, why, or to what extent something is done. For example, Terry goes to the movies. The question could be, where does he go? The preposition to and the adverbial phrase to the movies helps us indicate where Terry goes. He bought coffee in the morning. This adverbial phrase helps us express when he bought the coffee. She gives a presentation for the shareholders. The preposition for and the adverbial phrase for the shareholders helps me express why she gives a presentation. It is important to remember that adverbial phrases help us express how, where, when, why, and to what extent something is done or is happening. For example, they are meeting in front of the museum. The adverbial phrase in front of the museum helps us express where they are meeting. The show starts in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes helps us express when the show starts. And due to icy weather, the bridge was closed. Due to icy weather helps us express why the bridge was closed. Look at the following two examples and try to choose between the prepositions in and throughout to complete the prepositional or adverbial phrase and try to determine what the purpose of the phrase is. In two days, they fly back to San Diego, or throughout two days, they fly back to San Diego. The phrase in two days helps us express when they fly back. In two days, they fly back to San Diego. And how about this example? In the day, it will get hotter, or throughout the day, it will get hotter. The correct preposition is, throughout the day, it will get hotter. And the phrase throughout the day helps us express when it will get hotter. Look at this example of an adjective phrase and choose the correct preposition to complete the sentence. The car with a sunroof is mine, or the car including a sunroof is mine. The correct sentence is, the car with a sunroof is mine. The phrase with a sunroof serves as an adjective to describe the car. And how about this example? You should drive in front of the speed limit, or you should drive under the speed limit. The phrase in front of the speed limit doesn't really make sense as the speed limit isn't a location. The correct sentence is, you should drive under the speed limit. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to use prepositional phrases. As always, if you have more questions, feel free to comment, or if you're interested in joining one of our courses with a live instructor, feel free to message us directly. I look forward to seeing you in our next class.